welcome or welcome back to my channel, The Doctor's Orders. I'm Dr. Stacey Willis, and I am so happy that you have joined me here for another Wednesday wind down. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, friends, what are you waiting on? Click that subscribe button. That ensures that you come back every week for all of the fun that we have here on the weekly Wednesday wind down. Yes, friends, every Wednesday we are winding down. So I am hoping that you are enjoying it and looking forward to it as much as I am. If you have not already grabbed your beverage of choice, please be sure to go do so. Hit pause and then come back. I am going to be winding down with another rosé. Friends, it's rosé season. We all know that. But you go grab whatever you like. It can be water, it can be juice, it can be tea, um, or another wine. And let me know what you're sipping on down below. Okay. I am going to be enjoying, and, and the bottle is way over there for a reason because I forgot to grab my glasses. Anyway, an Anna Diogo Draper 2021 Portugal Rosé. That sounds delicious. I've never had this wine before, so I'm looking forward to tasting it. We love that sound. We love that sound and seeing what it's working with. And as you can see, I've already chilled my rosé. That is how I like to enjoy this wine. And cheers to Wednesday. Hmm. Let me take one more sip. Let me take one more sip. <laughs> Let me take one more sip, friends. Okay. Just what the doctor ordered. There we go, there we go. I'm not gonna lie, friends. That first sip gave me no burst of flavor. I mean, it wasn't like I was drinking water, but it was like maybe crystal light, <laughs> okay? But that second sip that I take took, I then, I, I, I can taste the flavor now. I, I can taste the flavor. Okay, Anna, I'm not mad at you. Yeah, we working with you, Anna, we working with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we're rocking with that. I'll definitely get that again. Okay, Anna, you pass the test. You're pleasant to the palate. The friends agree. Okay, so as you saw from the title, yes, friends, our Mark Jacobs mania is coming to an end. <laughs> Unless he drops another color. I mean, unless he drops a color that I just can't stay away from. But as of right now, this moment, this Wednesday, I think I'm good with my Marc Jacobs collection. Okay. If you have not watched my past videos, go back and watch those. I unboxed the medium. I unboxed two minis. And then I unboxed um, a micro, which belongs to my daughter. So the medium is the, my daughter's, the micro, and then the two minis are mine. So I'm here this evening to do a comparison video, friends, okay? So if you're still on the fence and don't know what size you want, I'm here to do a comparison video. And I'm also going to do a what fits in the micro because when I unboxed it, I did not do that. So we are going to see what fits inside of this beauty. So are you excited? I hope you are. I'm excited. Okay. So they're all right here to my right. And I am going to squeeze them all into view. As you know, I also have the true red in this size, but because my daughter's um, mini is in true red, I, I brought the candy pink so you could see the color contrast very easily. And there they go. Absolutely gorgeous. There they are. So friends, in the back, we have the medium tote. If the medium tote is not big enough for you, they have a large tote. Will I be purchasing this large tote? No, I will not be. I have Neverfulls um, that I utilize. I have my Ophidia tote um, that I reviewed a couple of videos ago. So I'm good with the larger size totes, but this is the medium, okay? Um, this is the mini. 
And then we have the teeny weeny micro one right here, which is so, so adorable. So as you can see, right, the dimensions and the sizes are very, very significant. They're very, very different, okay? So I'm gonna just slide them right here to the side so we can see them like this as well. Look at that. This is truly the baby of the bunch. Look, we got a baby. Truly the baby of the bunch. All right, medium. There we go, friends. Mini, here we go, friends. And then micro. Again, go back and watch those past videos if you have not already done so. So what I want to do also, um, I did mod shots on all of these. I modeled these bags for you. I showed you what they looked up against my frame. I look at the baby falling over. I am six feet tall, so you've got to see what they look like on my frame. So if you have not watched those past videos, go back and do so. Now, what I do want to do is take some items out of the mini, okay, and see how they fit in the micro. And she has a couple of things in here. I'm just gonna pull them out. Yeah, and just place her items right down there. Sorry, baby girl. Okay, <laughs> we're good to go. We're good to go. All right, so let me put it in the front so you can see it more clearly. All right, the first thing that we're going to put on here or in here is my iPhone friend. So this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. All right. And let's see how this goes in. Oh, perfectly, beautifully, plenty of room left. Okay. So I'm going to go inside of my mini because this is currently what I am carrying. We'll wait on this because these are my Prada sunglasses and I think these are going to take up too much room. So let's see what I have in there. Let's see how the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton in the bi color, see if that can go in there. Yep, it fits in there perfectly. It does take up a little bit of room, but you know, this bad boy packs a punch, so you can put multiple items in here and then put the pochette inside of there, okay. Let's see what else we have. Okay, I have the Victorine wallet, okay, from Louis Vuitton. Let's see if that goes in there. Okay, now we're getting kind of tight. It does fit in there, but as far as like space and in the sides, on the sides, that's about it. That's about it, friends, that will go in there. Oh, but it's still so cute. Look at that. Okay, let me see what else I have in here just to try. All right, let's see. We got a Fenty lip gloss. Let's see if we can get the Fenty in there. Yep, the Fenty can just slide on the side of the Victorine wallet. Okay, we're still going. Let's see what else we can get in here. I wonder if our Purell, that's kind of tight on the side. We could make it work, but maybe we can just lay the Purell on the top. Okay. Um, maybe a pin. The pin should easily go in there. Yep, that's easily. And then our sunglasses, no way. No way. It, it's not going to work at all. So your sunglasses are not going to go inside. Even taking them out, you know, I probably wouldn't even risk it because of the scratches. Nope, wouldn't do it. Not going to even try it on the video. <laughs> not going to do it. Okay. So friends, let me move this big boy over here, okay? And let me hold it up so you can get a clear shot. Do you see what's in there? So the pochette can go in there, a Victorine wallet, your phone can go in there. I put a pen, I put Purell, I put a lip gloss in there, and that is about it. It packs a punch. It does pack a punch. That could really take all take all of what you kind of need it you can drop a little scrunchie in there it's not heavy at all i'm sure if you had just single keys you could probably slide them in there but if not like if you've had a, a key clay or a key pouch you could probably remove the wallet right 
take the cards out, take your driver's license out, just slide those in there. And I think you could easily fit a key clay or a key pouch in there or your keys in general, because as you see, as soon as I took that out, that does open up another spot. But for baby girl, this is her bag. Um, this is this is everything that she's gonna need. She's gonna throw her phone in there. She's gonna throw her keys, a lip gloss, um, maybe a mirror, and she's gonna be out the door. So this is so cute and so adorable. And I'm very happy to say that it, it holds what it needs to hold, right? It holds what it needs to hold. She is not taking it out for a spin, friends. As you can see, she still has the tag on there, um, but she needs to go ahead and, and bust this out and, and take it out. But very cute, very adorable. I have had a ball, a ball with all of this Marc Jacobs mania. I enjoyed unboxing this beauty. I enjoyed unboxing this beauty and this beauty. Friends, let me know. Are you hooked on these totes as well? Do you like them? Do you love them? Are you like, I'm cool with them? This is not my vibe. I really appreciate the quality, okay? The quality that goes into these bags. Again, they are all full grain leather and none of these bags are bags that are going to break the bank. So again, watch my old videos. All of the links are provided where you're able to click in and peruse the different um, sizes of these bags, etc. But I just wanted to offer you a little eye candy and give you a visual of how the three of these look side by side. And again, friends, there is one more granddaddy there is one more large tote that goes with this collection all right friends i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna leave you with that again i hope you have enjoyed all of these videos i have so enjoyed making them and i look forward to seeing you back next week for another topic and another discussion all right friends until next time i will leave you with this quote remember success okay, is the sum of small objectives achieved day in and day out. Cheers.